Jerome Sinagini would have been 31 years old. Phoenix police detectives just working on the case and finally able to crack and find out that his remains were discovered last month. They were able to make that identification and then this month they released that name. His family, of course, heartbroken to find out who it was. We're finally getting our closure. Jerome Sinagini was reported missing in January 2020. You know, I had hope that he would you know, be in our presence once again. And that hope just broke completely and came crashing down and it was, <clears throat> it was very painful. In January of this year, a hiker in the South Mountain Preserve found a human skull. Last month, Phoenix police detectives used DNA testing and found a match. My heart breaks. What we had to go through to put my son to rest. Jerole was 28 when he disappeared, leaving behind a pregnant wife and a family who loved him. A member of the Navajo Nation, he is described by his family as funny, loving, and outgoing. You know, he was a husband at the time, and he was a, a father of three children, and he actually had um, a baby on the way. And she was born that, that March after he went missing. Detectives are investigating this as a homicide, but have not come forward with any leads. His family wants nothing more than a crack in the case. Whoever did this to him is out there. And I, it just, it's scary that this person is probably still walking amongst my nieces and my nephew out there in Phoenix. Jerome's sister Kayleen says she shares his story not just for her family, but for the families of all missing and murdered Indigenous people. Reporting live outside Phoenix Police Headquarters, Marissa Sarbach, Fox 10 News.